Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. Um, but today the weather's uh, been uh, cloudy and uh, cold um, here in North West Leicestershire, the UK. Um, well, I went to the Co uh, Colville Can at meeting last night um, and then I went for a drink in the local pub uh, the bitter and twisted micro pub um, and yes um, I, re I really enjoyed it um, the venue of Colville Can is um, absolutely fantastic it's not all quite finished off yet because they've got to add a, a science area and um, a uh, cinema uh, photo and well-being um, on the upper floors um, but um, the exhibitions and the artwork was fantastic and um, they had um, anybody that selects uh, the best artist um, and gives the reason wins the prize and uh, which which is at 50 pounds um, so I did that and put the name into the box and um, I also received a free cup of coffee as well and um, a lovely welcome which was absolutely fantastic really enjoyed it and the talk um uh, yes um again it was okay um so i'll just have to see um if things progress and uh, let you know about it I would also like to do um, a footage video inside at the headquarters um, that's what I would love to do when it's all finished off um, for you to show you um, the Colville Camp headquarters at Memorial Square inside um, a full tour and uh, they said that I could do a footage video on that um, but I would rather do that when it's all finished if you get what I mean so uh, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel spe uh, news special 10 exciting facts March 2023 part 3 this is according to budgetyourtrip.com um Number one, you can budget your uh, trip.com. Let's uh, sign up to uh, track your own uh, travel expenses. So that's number one fact. Number two, you can um, basically travel and uh, discounts a page. Check that out on the website for the latest deals. Uh, from popular travel companies number three cities and um, in any new city it's always a good idea to get an overview of the place its history and obviously its culture many cities off off a hop on off hop off bus at uh, tours walking tours um sedway tours um or other overview experiences that let new visitors explore the environment before deciding what else to do and um, I've been on a lot of hop on and hop, hop off buses and I've been up on the one in Bath I've been in on the one um, in New York um, and I've um, also uh, been um, on a hop on off bus um, at Landudno and um, also 
um, Norwich um, my last trip and I think they're absolutely utterly amazing and fantastic uh, to really get um, an insight um, of the city and or a place and also places around um, and so number four once you've settled um, in a city taking like say the art galleries and museums a lot of them are free, free anyway um, or um, it, you can get them at lower costs especially on off peak periods um, also popular monuments and attractions and any other popular activities that each unique city has to offer number five outdoor activities from national parks to seashores most countries in the world offer some sort of outdoor experience to see uh, the natural scenery and wildlife um, of the region um, basically uh, camping hiking tra trekking biking and fishing di or deep sea fishing are just few of the possibilities uh, why not uh, go um, hiking in the beautiful mountains or take a driving tour through the remote areas of the country number six uh, water sports um, for destinations that are on the coast or maybe a lake side there's plenty of sea based activities sports um, and are often huge attractions such as scuba diving snor snorkeling boating sailing deep sea fishing um, and dinner cruises um, are um, a few of the most popular options um, all of these um, activities can be booked in advance in at most destinations and um, are often at a discount price especially if you say book in advance number seven food and cuisine the foods of a, a place is one of the main reasons why most uh, travelers will visit naturally eating out is a popular pastime as well as a must do um or at least one dinner out um but restaurants are only the beginning there's a, a variety various food uh, tours uh, that uh, can take visitors to a variety of new re restaurants homestays food markets and street food vendors that uh, provide even more cul culinary adventures and um, also you can get events such as food gusto um, which is again a popular event or at least in the Mid midlands um to offer food and entertainment um do not uh, forget about the opinion to, uh, to take a cooking or baking classes you uh, could learn to cook like uh, the locals also some hotels um also um especially in Spain uh, that I've been to offer show cooking so you can watch and um, then cook the food and there are different places that offer show cooking and um, number eight um, the website will uh, give you an overview of your chosen country region States, accommodation activities itineraries tour and basically popular cities or places to visit um, obviously within your budget and um, 
number nine budget friendly travel planning how much you would need on average in a day one week two weeks one month per person and per couple and last but not least if you travel three or more people uh, the price price often goes down because kids tickets are cheaper and hotel rooms are shared and if you travel uh, for a longer period of time um at your uh, budget um, often goes down and um, so a lot of accommodation um, if you book for say a long period book it for a long period of time then again it could go down in price per night and um, that way so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you uh, tomorrow for um luxury tra travel special 10 exciting facts march 2022 uh, part two so please keep watching i hope everybody has an, a as good night as possible and thank you and bye for now thank you bye